Welcome to the Weaver Records, an analog horror series about a technology company named Weaver Industries, founded in 1959 by Professor George E. Weaver. Make sure to subscribe to the creator, Arthur Dixon. Video 1 A Warm Welcome a company tape welcoming new employees to Weaver Industries, 1984. Let's hope this business does give me a warm welcome. 15th of the 7th, 84. Weaver Industries, making the future not so distant. Damn, I like it. Nice slogan, bro. Greetings, employee. We welcome you to Weaver Industries, Hello? where we make the future not so distant. Your hard work and determination will help build a strong new world of excitement and joy for all. Wow, well, guess what? I'm so hard working, guys. Like, it's nuts. Like, I put so much hard work, you know, into making these YouTube videos, these reactions. So I'm sure this job should be really easy. You know, I give excitement and joy for all of you viewers, too. So again, this is simple. This job is great. It's my perfect second job. I still need one million YouTuber subscribers first, though. But <clears throat> you get my point. <laughs> we have a plethora of new technology that is sure to improve the way we live our day to day lives. Oh, nice. Such as a mobile phone that has many other features like the ability to tell the time. Of play course, games, like a big new iPhone, isn't it? The, the 84 iPhone. <laughs> a complex new artificially intelligent machine, AIM. We oh, like wow. to call the Weaver, capable of responding to your voice and following orders. What does it, it do? Can complete tasks such as housework, taking oh, wow. care of pets, defending, attacking. Yeah. Okay, so let me just pause it very quickly. So it can do how it can look after your pet. Sounds good. But then the other issue is it says it can attack and defend. What is it attacking and defending then? Is that from like people like coming in my house? or property or whatever or is it because there's an entity that might be coming to do something it sounds like horror it could be okay it stores as well stores data story and much more nice. of course none of this would be possible if it weren't for our beloved founder professor george weaver he looks sus. born in the year 1929 ever since man. he was a child he dreamed of not only developing technology but also changing lives Here's a nice short haircut, welcoming bro. message from Weaver. Oh. Remember, hard work isn't just about strength. It's about everything on the inside. The blood pumping through your veins. The determination and intelligence of your brain. I'm intelligent. And the will to make a difference. All right. We look forward to having you as an employee at Weaver Industries. We hope your experience working for us is nothing short of a pleasant time. Fingers crossed. Be sure to abide by the rules and health and safety regulations. What are they? We don't want anyone getting hurt, do we? We wouldn't want that at all. Whoa. <clears throat> okay, I was not expecting that. What's happening? What the hell? See you soon. I kind of feel like I don't want this job now. <laughs> like... Some of it's blatantly just happened, right? I don't know. But I like, it's it's really convenient how at the end of it, like they say, oh, we don't want people to get hurt, do we? You know, follow the health and safety precautions. <clears throat> and then as soon as that happens, you have this big alert. And it's like, yo, I think someone's just been hurt. <laughs> I don't know. But like in general, that was a really nice warm welcome. I do wonder about this Weaver thing, though. Like, I do wonder whether there's something to do with maybe the machine is going to attack us. Maybe I'm jumping the gun too much, and that probably is it, because that's what I always seem to do. But uh, there we are. But I definitely felt welcomed, and you guys are employees, too, with me. So I hope you felt the warm welcome. And if you did, let me know in the comments. I'd be very appreciated to know. Then we can obviously give feedback to our manager going forward. Video 2. AIM. The Weaver Testing. A tape testing the brand new Weaver created by Weaver Industries. 
All right, so this is on the 2nd of the 10th, 84. So we've been part of the business. We have industries or we have records for a couple of months now. So my experience has been pretty good so far. So we got AIM testing. So this is the Weaver. So it's now currently entering the testing stage. All right. Whoa, what was that? That was so quick, bro. I won't even catch that. It's currently able to lock on to a target individual aim and fire and it's also able to kill that's basically the simplest way to put it by quickly seeing it i told you this weaver was a bit sus the owner's sus too or the ceo whatever brilliant so we're definitely part of some effed up company now which again doesn't surprise me man searching searching for what oh god is this the weaver searching to kill someone whoa what the hell wait what was that hello oh god that's the that's the weaver right i think it's trying to i think this person is trying to say yeah it's just whoa it's just shot them i think it's trying to what the hell whoa hello Whoa, the Weaver just took someone out. Test complete. What the hell? <clears throat> Dude, what? Are you willing to do what? To do what is necessary to ensure a brighter future? I mean, I guess progress requires sacrifice. <gasps> Ooh, a little bit crazy. So they're saying about sacrifice and making a brighter future. So is this company that we are now working for, are they making, creating something that is able to be maybe brought by people that are quite high up? I mean, government funded or like, well, not government funded, but by the government or maybe like by the general population or just people that want to kind of like, you know, purge off the world and get rid of people and you know, that kind of thing. It wouldn't surprise me. There's definitely sus going on. And the owner popped up as well. So it's probably, I'm assuming either he's been shot or he is the one behind it, which it probably is him behind it. Then we've got a missing screen here, which you, it doesn't zoom in anymore. There's a person missing on there, but I have no idea who that is. I don't think it's me. It's probably an employee, I'm assuming. This is interesting, dude. And I told you, this is a hidden gem. Video three. Bring your child to work day. A tape informing the employees of Waver Industries that tomorrow is bring your child to work day. If I had a child, I'd be able to bring them to work, but I don't, but that's fine. Or for the temp, 84. Attention, wonderful Weaver employees. Hello. Tomorrow is bring your child to work day. Are you excited? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm sure your children will be. You'll be able to show them all the innovative technology we produce. Isn't it a bit sus, though, like how it's literally just told us that we need to sacrifice and stuff like that, you know, in regards to this Weaver thing. And then the next video is basically saying, OK, we can bring your child to work. Is that like something to say that they want to use the Weaver to shoot children thing? It's definitely something a bit sus. But anyway, we'll carry on. But I'm a little bit worried here. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. I'm thinking... If I had a child, I would not be bringing them to the my workplace, especially here. But then again, will they make you do it? Possibility. We'll, we'll figure it out, I see, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm just all over the shop. Just like, this job is going to kill me. <laughs> it's going to fucking kill me. Produce here at Weaver Industries. And maybe they too will join us in the future. Maybe. So get what? ready and bring them to us. Did you just see that, how it said join us, and it's like popped up, join us. Yeah. Join our, join our culty company. Bring them to us. Bring them, Bring to, them to us. What the hell? Bring them to us. He brought them to us. What? Okay, so this is the 5th of the 10th, 84. Right. So who's this? So we've got Derek Walter, Harry Walter, Andrew Walter. Okay. So it's a family. Right. Are you excited to see the Weaver, Derek? Yeah. Whatever. It's We're in London, bro. Oh, Harry, don't be so mean. Your little brother Derek can't wait. Yeah. 
these inventions are stupid and your boss is a bit of a weirdo. I do agree with that. <laughs> the boss is a weirdo. The kid knows well. Feels bad, man, for the young kids. Oh, hello. So is this them going into the workday, is it? There's the weaver. Um. Oh, God. The weaver's taking the young kid away. The youngest one. Oh, no. And what I will say, though, just in regards to this video, like, I do like how the creator has, like, kind of added in some, like, mini game into this. It's not just all, like, found footage or just, like, analog footage. Like, a lot of it, like, in this now, this is quite, quite unique. Again, like I said, it's a hidden gem. Because I like how they've added, like, a little, like, mini computer game, I guess you could call it, as, like, the visuals of it. It's quite, it's quite cool. Not bad. Oh, hello. Kill. He just killed the kid. Oh, damn. R.I.P. Whatever Walter you were. The name. He has been recycled. Uh, you can recycle human beings, can't we? Derek? Derek? Where are you, son? Okay, it's Derek. Derek! He's, he's the dad's lost his son. Okay, I'm going to drop you off back home. Harry, I'm just going to go talk to Mr. Weaver. I promise I'll be back in a few minutes. <sighs> okay. I wonder what Mr. Weaver's going to say. Where's my son, George? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, you know damn well what I'm talking about, you freak. Damn. I assure you, your son is probably safe and sound somewhere. Have you tried looking around the back? Don't play dumb with me, George. You've been doing this for too long. You can't keep getting away with it. Getting away with what, Walter? Are you out of your mind? The people, George. You're killing people. They're bro okay, so it so it seems like the employee the employees obviously know about it, which is kind of obvious. But like this employee now is like going up to the CEO and saying like, George, like what the f are you doing? You've just killed my kid. And it's now like, okay, so is this guy going to go public with it or what? I don't know. I, I wonder if he's going to get effed. Brains, their blood, all those people, their families, George. How could you do this? Because I'm the only one willing to make this kind of progress, Walter. And I think you don't have what it takes to work here. Oh, damn. You're crazy, George. And I'm going to do something I should have done long ago. Say goodbye to your beloved company. Oh, he is? So now you're willing oh. to make sacrifices. You're nothing, Andrew. This is for my children. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Whoa. Is that the business gone? So we're on the 6th for the 10th, 84 now. What the hell? The time now, exactly 8.40. Oh, BBC One. <laughs> Yo, this is actually UK based. I know we saw London, but still. I wasn't really sure. And I'll be now. Following yesterday's tragedy at Weaver Industries headquarters, we now have confirmation that 56 employees and 15 visitors were killed in the tragic accident oh in which most of the company's materials were destroyed. Damn. One of the few survivors and company founder, Professor George Weaver, had this to say. The cause of the incident was a few loose wires and fuel tanks thrown together negligently by a careless staff member. This guy is a dark mofo, bro. So it, I'm, I, it doesn't surprise me that he survived, though. Like, the bad ones always do. Do you know what I mean? A lot of people die by the looks of it. But that's crazy, bro. Like, damn. But then the thing is, to me, it's like, <clears throat> that is what he's been wanting, though. He's been wanting to kill people, as obviously the employee said. So for him, this is like, oh, great. You know, maybe my business has gone down. But, you know, I've done what I've got to do. And, you know, maybe there'll be more coming you can suck my ass george my heart goes out to all the families who have lost loved ones while working at or visiting with this guy is an absolute asshole man this will not happen again despite this weaver claims this will not be the end of weaver industries referring to it as a minor setback oh yeah of course he plans to start the company anew with staff safety as his top priority oh so actually so thinking about it you look at this then so the youngest one's gone the dad's gone, but the younger kid is still here. 
So is there, could it be that the younger kid, if you think about it, from what he was saying, he did think that the CEO was a bit of a weirdo. He did say that, right? So does this mean that going forward, he will maybe try and figure out what's going on? That they did advise that they would love some of the family members to work in the future. So like, maybe that is what could happen. I don't know. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Could that be what happens going forward? I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out, but questionable. But yeah, my God, guys, this is such a very good series so far. Like I told you, it's a hidden gem. And like so far, like we've got some really like effed up stuff going on here. And uh, yeah, so in this video, we're only doing four of them, but there are more to come. I've just dropped my headphone, but it's fine. But yeah, so we're only doing four today, but there is like another like quite a few more. So if this one does well and you guys want to see more of this after the next video, then make sure to let me know because I would be very intrigued to see where this goes. Video four, new and improved. A tape about the reopening of Weaver Industries after the tragedy in 1984. All right, so on the 26th of the first 85, so this is like a couple of months after the thing that happened. That's a police Welcome officer, back, isn't it? employees yeah. of Weaver Industries. Hi. Following the freak accident that occurred almost four months ago, the company is now officially back on its feet. We hope you can continue to work hard and change the future despite this terribly long break. For those with safety concerns, let it be known that we are taking extreme precautions in health and safety so that a tragedy like this will never happen again. Will it never happen again? Is that what you think, is it, really? I don't think I believe that. All you give me is a fucking safety hat. I don't mean that that bloody weaver is not going to go and kill people again. I love just how, like, they make it so, like, blunt that, like, you know, everything's going to be okay. You know, this business is fine. And it's like, mate, this business is fucked up. But hey-ho. Got some footage here, though. What's this? Oh, God. 53 dead. So is that what is that like a more of a visual thing from before? From the tragedy that happened? I don't know. We've got a police report. Okay, so it's the 26th of the first 85. Upon inspecting the rubble at the site of Weaver Industries' oh. second incident, second? some concerning items were found within the remains of an artificially intelligent machine, the Weaver. An oh, assault damn. rifle was discovered inside what was left of one of the Weavers. The founder, George Weaver, was taken in for question. Oh, thank God for that. I'm glad he has the asshole. Damn, bro. What do you have to say about the assault rifle found in one of your machines? Officer, there are hundreds of employees working in a single building alone. It would appear as though one of them has a few screws loose. You never know these days, am I right? <laughs> I'm suggesting an employee wow. is responsible for hiding firearms in your robots. I can't believe that he's going, like, the owner is going against his employees here and saying that it's them and not him. I mean, technically, like, you know, in a way, he is right because obviously they are probably doing the testing and creating this Weaver thing. And I guess, in a way, like, yes, he is right. But at the same time, like, he's one telling them to do it. And it's, it wouldn't surprise me if there's some kind of thing. I mean, there's that sacrifice thing. That, you know, if you don't do it, then, you know, you're probably going to end up being sacrificed by it anyway. So, like, really, this guy's just being an absolutely <clears throat> manipulative person and, you know, telling the employees that... It, it, I'm, it's not been confirmed, but it's kind of obvious, I think, that, you know, you've got to do it. Otherwise, uh, see you later. Do you know what I mean? It's not the first time one of them has gone rogue, officer. Worry well, not. Once you let me go, they will be dealt with accordingly. Yeah, point killed by the right. weaver. <laughs> You're free to go. We'll be in touch. But... Sergeant Richards, is it? Why, <laughs> yes it is. Why do you ask? Whoa, hold on. This is first to second day E5. Don't tell me that police officer is... Oh no. I think I know what's happened here. Breaking news. Beloved police sergeant John Richards has been found dead in his apartment due to what is believed to be food poisoning. Nah, it's not food poisoning, wife, no way. Margaret, suspects foul play, however investigations have found no lead. I agree with her. And now for the weather. Whoa, yeah, there we go. 
this will teach her a lesson. Wow, it's the second of the second, 85, okay. It's the wife of the police officer, okay. Breaking news. Beloved police sergeant's wife, Margaret Richards, has been found dead in her apartment due to a kitchen fire. Whoa, oh my god. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a weaver. Wow, this guy, dude. Fifth of the second, 85. After countless tests, the Weaver Mark II is ready for use. Mark II? It has many new features, such as speech synthesis, a drink and napkin dispenser, food storage, liquid storage. Yeah, liquid storage for the storage, blood, yeah, blood, database, blood. blood tank, secret facility navigation, rubber gloves. Whoa. Yeah, guys, that was the Weaver Records, and my god, like I told you, definitely was a hidden gem. Considering that these four we've watched were created over two years ago and how no one has checked it out or really seen it i'm quite shocked go and subscribe to the creator in my description they currently have 145 subscribers as of the time of this video so i definitely would go and check them out and uh if you want to watch more videos of it then go ahead but i will be reacting to them i'm sure in the future but yeah going in regards to the series the visuals are very good uh it was very very well done i have to admit it was quite it's quite unique in its own way as well i would say and yeah i just think this george guy is a complete ass and i personally could not work for that company under those conditions as much as i would probably get sacrificed to it i think i'd rather get sacrificed than know that you know what i'm doing is working to kill people so there we are. But anyway, if you liked my reaction, guys, please like and subscribe. Again, check and check out the creator in my description. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Keep it locked. Peace out and leave me alone. And one final thing is I need to write my resignation letter for uh, Weaver Industries. Good luck to me. And to you. Goodbye.